In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Awesome Dialogs. This is the simple app we're going to build today, where we have a lot of different buttons to test out different dialogs. And let's have a look at the dialog we're going to build today. So when we press on this, we have a dialog with a fixed size. We can dismiss it by either pressing anywhere here on the X button or on the cancel or OK. Then we can have another dialog as such, or success dialog, or custom body dialog. Or we can also have an auto hide dialog that automatically hides after two seconds. Let's get started. As mentioned, we are going to use the Flutter package Awesome Dialog. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now concerning our layout, simply build a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar and then a body. This body has a column. This column is wrapped within a single child scroll view so that we can scroll this. And the column has a lot of animated buttons and each animated button, whenever it's pressed, opens up a different awesome dialogue. Now let's have a look at our first awesome dialogue here. First, of course, import the awesome dialogue Flutter library. Now we give in our context, then we give in our dialogue type. So in this case, it's info reversed. So it's an info dialogue, as you can see here. We can give it a border. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want it to have a border, but in this case, it's a green border. Then we have a fixed width of 280. That's also why the cancel button doesn't look so nice here. So if this wasn't fixed, then the cancel would look normal. Then we can define the border radius of the buttons. In this case, it's circular, but only with a circular radius of two, as you can see here. Then we can define dismiss on touch outside. So if we press somewhere here outside of the dialog, we can dismiss it. Then we can define our custom function here for on dismiss callback. So either when the user presses on the X button here or somewhere else, then we simply print out the type here. Then we can also define whether the animation of this header should be in a loop. So it should repeat and repeat and repeat. In this case, it's false. Here we also can define the animation type. So it slides from the bottom up. So let's close this and let's see. As you can see here, it's slided from the bottom up. Then we can define our title here, as you can see here, a description. Then we can also define whether the close icon should be shown, as you can see here. And we can also define what should happen if the user presses on cancel or on OK. And then we simply show this dialog. So there are a lot of things you can try out here. Feel free to download the code that I put into the description box and test out what works for you best. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.